Justin, what are we doing today? So today we're going to 3D print some new desk legs for Allie's desk. As you can see, we've got a lot of filament colors back here to choose from. And yesterday we printed version one of this in silky PLA. So this is an Amazon basics filament. So <laughs> this one is the exact same size as that one. This is 120 millimeters in length. And today we're going to use some of the parametric features yeah. of Fusion 360 to make it longer. We were going to add 25 or 30. Um, we wanted about an inch. And again, the reason we're doing this is, is you can't really see it, but over here to the size is a fractal design you can, uh, ridge case. You it's can a see it in the other one right in the back, in the very far back behind <laughs> that Lucite shelf is my computer. That's a fractal design case. As you can see up, <laughs> up there, there is not much of a gap between the fractal design and the shelf. Yeah, I had estimated it has about six millimeters, maybe five up there. It's not enough and it's causing my computer to have real problems. It's running really hot. For some of us on the Imperial system, just so you know, six millimeters is maybe a little bit around a quarter of an inch, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. So it, it's a pretty small gap. We've noticed that the heat really gets trapped in there. So we, we figure if we give it a yeah. little bit more room to breathe, that could help. And one of the problems with the fractal ridge is there's not as much airflow for the CPU as there is for the GPU. And in, in computers these days, some of these CPUs can put out between you know, 65 and all the way up to 300 watts. So yeah. you really, you need the airflow for both of them. It's, it's getting a little hot in there, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Let's get started. So we're well, gonna, gonna use parametric gonna architectures to increase it by 30 millimeters and get it printing. And then we're also gonna look up the heat set inserts. We um, found some about some, and we're going to see the specifications for it. So maybe we can get that done as well. We're not, we'll find out. Okay, Justin, why don't we start uh, Fusion 360? So Fusion, I left actually left it up from the day before, and we, have this is 120 millimeters in height this is set up in a parametric design in fusion 360 and we should be able to come in here and change some of the settings so now we can just come in here and change the height so we were thinking 30 millimeters so that would be 50 and then okay now that was so easy and fast should we get the specifications for the insert to create a hole to go inside it then. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new cylinder. Yeah, select face points, great. Distance, hole type. There's different types, countersink, counterbore, simple. Uh, drill point, flat or angle. Let's do flat, I think flat's gonna be better. Okay, I got it in there, and now we can specify the height, the depth, and the, the diameter. The diameter we're gonna do is eight. I, I don't know how precise everything's gonna be with the printer, but you we can do seven point. Let's do seven point nine. Okay. And now I need the the in the height. Oh, okay. So, so what are they thirteen point seven is what they want. So we'll just do fourteen. I think I want a little chamfer chamfer. Okay, so let's make a little chamfer. Now it's using this 90 degrees countersink angle. I think that means it's going to be 45 on both sides. If our original width is 7.9, I don't think we need that much of a chamfer. So I'm just going to do like, so 8.3 I think is good. Okay, so I think we've made our hole. Okay, now we're zoomed in real tight and you can see the hole and you can see the chamfer that we put on. That'll help it seat, the threaded insert, that'll help it seat in there as we put it in hot. All right, I think we're done here. That wasn't too bad. So we're in Prusa Slicer and we will save project. Well, while we wait, let's think about infill, right? Because this one we might want to make stronger. And the best way to make a print stronger is actually to change the perimeter. But before we change the perimeter, let's change some other settings. So we're going to worry about our first layer top infill. I remember how I said concentric can kind of really help that. There's concentric and Archimedes 
chords. Let's talk about the difference between this. So if we look in here, Allie. Let me see. Do you see how the concentric, there's a seam? Yes. You see the seam that on makes the concentric? That right there, right? No, it, it doesn't, it slows it down is, is mine. Oh, okay. And it can add an artifact. But if you come over here and you use, God bless Archimedes. If you do that, you oh, notice that it, it goes away. It. it starts here, and I think the scarfing will fix it. And what we want is we want the top surface to be that way, but we may not want the bottom surfaces to be that way. So that, that'll look nice, right? And then we'll do that for the bottom too. And now let's start worrying about the interior. So let's set this to 15%. And let's set the print, the parameters to I make it really do, strong as three. I think we should do four. You want to do like epically strong? Yeah. All right. So that's going to be that. And now we're going to do infill and we'll do like, let's say 20%. Let's change our info. We've got support cubic in here. We can try some of these other ones. It's so here's I'm gyroid. Doing, here's I'm reading the, the manual. Here's the celebrity of it all. Yeah. And this one you can fill. Like if we had wanted to fill it with a liquid eventually, like a resin or something, he could. And then they'd be real strong. What makes gyroid really fancy is that it's it fills not only vertical in the vertical direction, but it can fill in the horizontal. To recap, we're going to do uh, 20. It makes It'll make Allie feel way more confident in the total strength of this. So now we'll go back over to Octoprint. Okay, so we've got the heat insert, we've got the different sizes, and we're going to weld the arcs. Should speed it up. Okay, so there we go. We've got all of our arc welded versions, and you can tell them apart because it puts a small AW before the G code. So okay, I'm, I'm gonna load this one. Click cool, then preheat. It's Come pre up here. Don't worry, it's preheated. <laughs> making sure it's the marble white. If you have the wrong color filament in there, it will track your stats incorrectly. It does not do this automatically. Yeah. And without further ado, let's start printing. So we're going to start this print. So these are legs with these were 3D printed on the Prusa MKS3. As you can see, the layer lines are like mostly flawlessly. There's there's a seam here. But other than that, it is completely flawless. This seam has been used a new technique called scarf scarfing. So I think I think these are the ones. We ordered a couple different packages. We ordered it from Amazon. I got some Loctite too. Here's some of the M6. M6. Threaded inserts. These are M8. We're not doing M8 today. These are threaded rods. And they're two different heights. So we're going to be using the 25s threads with the M6 heat set inserts, threaded inserts. Let's talk about the soldering iron. Uh -oh. The soldering iron is a bit much for what we're doing right now. So I got the soldering iron to do some more advanced circuit work between anything from like circuit bending to making my own circuit boards to just like wiring some simple circuits up. So we're, we're, we're not doing circuits today. Some other time we probably will. We are going to put a heat insert into this. I'm extending the legs on my shelf for my monitor. And so I got, we 3D printed these legs and we're going to put um, heat inserts and thread them. Okay. So we're at temperature. This soldering oh, everything. iron All right. gets the temperature really fast. Oh, I think it's good. It it springs back up a little. Oh, bit. it does. Okay, maybe it needs to go. What do you guys? What do you think? Let's see. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, fresh. it looks pretty good. Okay, move your hand. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. But I, we should put the temperature up a little bit. So. Yeah, I noticed it was going a little slow. Let's try four thirty. Okay. Okay, I think that's the second one. Okay, we got two down. We'll keep loading these up. All 
All right, let's try to throw okay, this yeah. one Ooh, in. yeah. Nice. That looks great, Justin. Hey. Just made one leg longer. This looks great. Wow, I'm really pleased with this. Do you want me to take the other legs off? So this this is the shelf now. It's it's kind of monstrous. Oh yeah, it goes across almost my whole desk, and I like it that way. And oh my god, we did it. It's completed. So it'll be like this above my computer. And my computer's white, so it should look it should look pretty nice with my computer. Um and yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'll put it upstairs. <laughs>